What a wonderful performance live all the way from Bali. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning to all of us. Excellencies, Governor of Bank of Indonesia, Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia, Minister of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia, Ambassadors of the Republic of Indonesia to friendly countries, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. My name is Karina Wijaya, CEO of BFW Creatives. On behalf of the Embassy of Republic of Indonesia in Singapore, I would like to welcome all of you virtually to the grand launching of Virtual Innovation Showcase and its website, www.indonesiastore.sg. This event is also conveyed under the guidance of Ministry of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia and in collaboration with Bank Indonesia. Would like also inform you that this event is broadcasted live in the Embassy of Indonesia in Singapore YouTube channel, KBRI Singapura. Towards the end of the launch, we will have question and answer sessions. For those who would like to ask questions, please write your questions right at the Q&A chat box below your screen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, and all distinguished participants, we will commence the event by listening to the remarks from the Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to Singapore, His Excellency Murah Swajaya. Thank you, Karina. A very good morning. Your Excellency, Ibu Ratno Masudi, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia, Honorable Bapak Perry Warjo, the Governor of Central Bank of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Bapak Agus Supermanto, the Minister of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia, my fellow heads of, heads of missions, Distinguished participants, friends, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua. Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan, and also a very good morning to you all from the Indonesian Embassy here in Singapore. It has been indeed a great honor for us to host Ibu Ratno, who is visiting Singapore in today's uh, event. And also, it is also a great honor to have pa Perry Warjo, the Governor of Central Bank of Indonesia, as well as pa Agus Supermanto, Minister of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia, joining us this morning to launch this initiative by the Indonesian Embassy here in Singapore. I certainly wish you all in a very healthy conditions and of course in a high spirit to join us and also to keep on continuing what we, are, we have already been continuing to do. I wish to extend my warmest welcome to all of our friends, the ambassadors, the business players, media partners, invited participants from Indonesia, Singapore and other countries who are joining this event this morning in Singapore time. Singapore is a trading partner country of Indonesia that has been established a long time, and this good relation has almost developed very rapidly in the past years. And we have very happy to have Singapore as the fourth largest trading partner of Indonesia. The total value of trade between the two countries in 2019 has reached 30 billion US dollars. And of course, we are, we are looking at a trend that is quite positive, and hopefully this is going to even grow again in the future. In the current difficult situation caused by COVID-19 pandemic, we are grateful that trade between the two countries is still going well and increasing. In the first semester of 2020, even though the total trade balance is still deficit due to the large oil and gas import, however, the surplus Indonesia recorded for the non-oil and gas export and trade between Indonesia and Singapore. On this occasion, we would like to thank all trade business players for this well-established trade cooperation, and we hope that in the future, we will be able to continue 
improving and enhancing our bilateral trade relation between Indonesia and Singapore. On this occasion, we would like also to inform you that to provide facilities, we are launching this virtual, uh, trade, uh, virtual uh, showcase, which will exhibit all of the Indonesian potential trade export and potential products for the Singapore market. And this certainly will make easier for everybody, for importers, for traders to get information from Indonesia concerning the potential export product from Indonesia. I'm also very grateful to have Ibu Ratno Marsudi who will launch officially here from the Indonesian Embassy as well as Pak Agus Subarmato who is very supportive and having a very strong commitment to make this happen as well as to make this expanded in the future. We would also like to thank the Governor of Central Bank, Pak Perry Warjo, who has already been a strongest supporters of Indonesia Embassy here in increasing our bilateral economic cooperation between the two countries. So without certainly further ado, we would like to listen to the remarks by Pak Perry Warjo, by Pak Agus Suparmanto, and certainly last but not least, by Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Indonesia, Ibu Retno Marsudi. I wish to thank you all, and also wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you, His Excellency Nuraswajaya. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, now I have the honor to invite all of you participants of this meeting to watch the remarks from Governor of Bank of Indonesia, His Excellency Perry Warjio. Ladies and gentlemen, small and medium enterprises or SME are the backbone of Indonesian economy. 64.2 million units across Indonesia. 117 million labor participation and contribute about 61% of Indonesian GDP. Indonesia under President Joko Widodo already accelerating SME development to become one of the key sector in Indonesian economy. In this regard, Bank Indonesia, the Central Bank of Republic Indonesia are proudly to be one of the key players in promoting the development of SME in Indonesia through three key strategy. First, Bank Indonesia have specific program in promoting SME development through 46 branches of Bank Indonesia across the country. We are promoting entrepreneurship in production, in finance, and as well as in marketing. We also onboarding this SME through digitalization of the SME. Among others, implementing our blueprint of Indonesian Payment System 2025 to promote digitalization of SME in Indonesia. We incorporated SME for using QR Indonesian standard. We already registered 4.3 million SME to be merchant in nationally. We also uploading their product and their commercial commerce, whether to Instagram, Facebook, or even on the platform of the e-commerce. We also promoting them through the online marketing. So the development of SME in Bank Indonesia are end-to-end -end process from production, finance, marketing, and digitalization of the payment system to make SME digitalization are flourishing in Indonesia. Second, we engage in very close synergy with the government, with digital banking, with the fintech, and also many associations in the industry and SME 
to promote end-to-end process of SME digitalization in Indonesia. As you know, government of Indonesia already incorporated SME development to be one of the key pillars in Indonesian economic recovery. The government are also launching what we call it Gerakan Nasional Bangga Buatan Indonesia, a national movement to broadly use Indonesian product. This synergy will even further promote digitalization of the SME across Indonesia to promote them not only the source of the Indonesian economic growth, but also to be a producer and market for Indonesian economy going forward. Third, Bank Indonesia also promoting uh, SME to be in the market places, whether nationally or internationally. We conducted a series of showcase of SME uh, product through a number of events nationally. In Indonesia, we engage Indonesian creative showcase where we showcasing our SME quality prime product to be in the showcase. And we also engage collaboration with foreign ministry as well as foreign embassy, including with the Singapore to be the showcase of the SME product, not only nationally, but especially globally among others to be one of the economic diplomacy abroad. On that note, Bank Indonesia proudly join also wake, welcome this virtual showcase of SME products as a part of our continuous effort in promoting small and medium enterprises in Indonesia and overseas. In this regard, this short is also making closer collaboration of the two countries. With that, we invite you to serve the highlight of many SME products of Indonesia and enjoy the world of trade with remarkable Indonesia. Thank you, Perry Wargio, Governor of Bank Indonesia, the Central Bank of Republic Indonesia. Thank you, His Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, now I have the honor to invite all of you, participants of this meeting, to watch the remarks from Minister of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Agus Suparmanto. Excellency, Minister of Trade, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ibu Retno Marsudi, Excellency, uh, Governor of Bank Indonesia, Bapak Perry, Excellency Ambassador of uh, Indonesia for Singapore, Bapak Ngurah Swajaya, Excellency and Distinguished Guests, Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, uh, I would like to thank all of you for this grand launching of virtual uh, showcase held by Indonesia Embassy in Singapore. During the global pandemic uh, we face in uh, the last six months, I felt gratitude for your virtual present to join this event. For that, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the Indonesia Embassy in Singapore, Trade Atasha, Atasha Singapore, and all parties that make it this uh, event possible. The global economic growth in 2020 is predicted by various institutions to fall deeper than the previous years. In June 2020, the IMF projected global growth at a negative rate 4.9%. Meanwhile, the World Bank and OECD predict 
a deeper decline in, in global economic growth to negative 5.2% to negative 7.6%. In terms of the trade in goods, WTO also predict a decline in trade to range from negative 12.9% to negative 31.9%. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a more negative impact on activity in the first half of 2020. Then anticipate the, and the recovery is projected to be more gradual than previous forecast the COVID-19 pandemic had hit global trade amid movement, restriction implemented in various countries around the world, including the Indonesia. The decline in global trade will also affect the role of each country in global trade, both export and import. Indonesia role in global trade currently only 1% of total world trade. For Indonesia itself, the trade balance in January, from January to July 2020, period still recorded a surplus of 8.75 billion US dollars, with the largest contribution for non-oil and gas. I hope an export on July increased by 14.3 percent compared with June 2020. That would be become positive signal for economic recovery in the coming months. Ladies and gentlemen, I realized that this challenge is not easy for us, but we must optimize to, on focusing on the encouraging Indonesia export to be able to drive economy development. Ministry of Trade undertaking numerous strategy and policy to boost the Indonesian trade performance in the new normal era. We are supporting promotion throughout the digital-based platform in this challenging time, I believe digital platform will play more significant roles in economic recovery. We have collaborated with one of Indonesian unicorn, Bukalapak, to promote Indonesia SME product in Malaysia, Brunei, Darussalam, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. We are also eager to boost regional digital trade by participating in Asian Online Sales Day. We facilitate Indonesia product too into the Amazon marketplace platform under the name of Archipelago and also participate in Bangga Buatan Indonesia movement by supporting SME to promote its product in Indonesia unicorn platform. I would like also to invite you all to take part of and participate in one of the largest trade exhibition in the region, 35th Trade Expo Indonesia. This year, this, uh, the Expo will exhibit virtually start on 10 of November 2020. Please take this my invitation. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, I would like to convey my congratulations to the Indonesian Embassy in Singapore for launching of a virtual showcase with the team Trade with Remarkable Indonesia. I hope this platform will escalate Indonesia product promotion and strengthen the business relationship between the two friendly countries, Indonesia and Singapore, in the future. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, now I may have the honor to invite all of you to listen to the remarks for Minister for Foreign Affairs, Her Excellency Retno Marsuti, and also to officially launch the Virtual Indonesia Showcase and its website, www.indonesiastore.sg. Minister of Trade of the Republic of Indonesia, Governor of Central Bank of Indonesia, Ambassador of Indonesia and Singapore, thank you very much for your wonderful remarks. Excellencies, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning from Singapore. I join you this morning from the Indonesian Embassy here in Singapore. Yesterday, I met my good friend, the Foreign Minister of Singapore, Fifian Balakrishnan, and discussed preparation for the leaders' retreat, as well as plan to start negotiation on essential business travel corridor arrangement between Indonesia and Singapore. 
Singapore is one of Indonesia's important partners for trade, investment, and tourism. We have encountered many disruptions during this pandemic. We have to try our best to end the prolonged period of this disruption. Our fight against COVID-19 should be in tandem with our fight against the downturn of our economy. Health is priority, and we will spare no effort to fight against the virus. On the economic side, there is much hope from our people that the situation will continue to improve in quarter three and quarter four and so forth. In the second half of this year, global demand is expected to start its recovery. So far, we have seen Indonesia's export grew 14.34, uh, I repeat, 14.33% in July compared to the preceding month. Meanwhile, our trade figures also experienced surplus of US dollar 8.7 billion from January to July this year. Morgan Stanley predicted that Indonesia will become the second fastest country to economically recover in the region. Indeed, these are encouraging signs. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, one of the priorities of the Indonesian diplomacy will remain on the effort to strengthen trade with others. But to realize this potential into reality, our missions abroad will need to redouble their effort, adapt their approaches, and seek new opportunities to jumpstart our economy. The COVID-19 pandemic has permanently change how we bring about our engagement. Transformation to digital platform is inevitable. For instance, research shows that our SMEs were also forced to adapt to this changing reality. Close to 50% of the Indonesian SMEs increased their use of digital tools and social media to promote their product. They have also shifted distribution channels through online selling. One in five young entrepreneurs are using e-commerce for the first time during COVID-19. Close to 70% entrepreneurs said they will permanently increase their use of e-commerce in the future. I'm very happy to see that our overseas missions continue to innovate and modernize their approach to achieve our economic diplomacy targets. One of the examples is the Embassy of Indonesia in Singapore, which has prepared another platform called the Indonesia Store.sg, a website that integrates Indonesia's leading export products under one platform, linking our businesses, including SMEs, into the largest, larger international market. I do hope that by reducing the barriers and distance and communication uh, between buyers and purchasers through this website, we will be able to swiftly restore economic growth and together recover our economy. And with this, I'm very pleased to officially launch the Indonesia Virtual Showcase website at www.indonesiastore.sg. Thank you very much. Indonesia, a country with more than 17,000 islands and 267 million people, is one of the biggest countries in the world. Its vast land and sea area 
provide abundant natural resources and raw materials that have gone global. Singapore is the fourth largest export destination for Indonesia. In 2019, the total trade value between the two countries reached 30.5 billion US dollar with an increasing trend of 2.57% from 2015 to 2019. This includes 9.4 billion US dollar of non-oil and gas export from Indonesia. The trade relationship between Indonesia and Singapore spans across various sectors such as gold, electronic parts, precious metals, telecommunication businesses, and many more. In the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Singapore, we have a special room to showcase the product of Indonesia, which is designed by the Directorate General of National Export Development, Ministry of Trade of Indonesia. This room exhibits various curated products from small, and medium enterprises under the mentorship by the Ministry of Trade of Indonesia and Bank Indonesia. The products are ranging from cosmetics, handicrafts, F&B products, and many other categories. Each product has been assigned with a unique QR code which links the visitor to our website www.indonesiastore.sg. This website can be used by enterprises in Indonesia to showcase their products and introduce their companies. In the showcase page, you can see the featured products and featured companies. You can click on the product that you are interested in and email the seller to inquire about the product. You can also click on the company name in order to view the contact details, company profile, and list of their products. You may click this button to ask for a brochure. This platform can be utilized to connect exporter and importers in real time. We are constantly updating our database of credible companies with quality products from Indonesia. Furthermore, this website also links to relevant authorities' websites to obtain more accurate information about export and import procedures. With this virtual showcase, finding information about Indonesian products has never been easier. For more information, please visit www.indonesiastore.sg Thank you very much, Her Excellency, and what a wonderful presentation. Now, Her Excellency is having a site visit at the Indonesia Showcase at the Embassy of Republic Indonesia in Singapore. This is our physical showroom, showcase in Singapore. Now we are witnessing Her Excellency using the QR code system of the virtual showcase, which is the main feature of this virtual showcase at www.indonesiastore.sg. Thank you very much, Her Excellency. Once again, congratulations for the grand launch of the platform. It's indeed opening an ocean of opportunity for Indonesia businesses to enter the global markets 
and you can see how easy it is to actually be involved and find who is the product supplier in Indonesia by just a simple QR code click. You can find all of that in, uh, in www.indonesiastore.sg. So now with us, we have the trade attaché in Singapore for Indonesia, Bapak Ruaksono. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for sitting next to me and to be ready to have a few Q&A from the media. So it must have been rewarding and exciting journey. So I, I know that the journey has taken quite a, a few months, if not years, and finally the grand launch. So now for all media and participants, I know you all must have a burning question to ask um, our dear Park Waksono here. So without further ado, we will basically read all of your questions in the chat box. Um, we have one right now, which is, um, okay, we have one question here. What is the challenges for the embassy in preparing such important effort in digitizing the showcase for supporting economy recovery? Yes, <clears throat> thank you, Mbak Karina. <clears throat> As we know that this event, uh, we would like to promote uh, our SMA to promote their products, not nationally, also uh, globally. In globally. Now Indonesia, in uh, Embassy in Indonesia in Singapore has uh, physically uh, showroom, uh, showcase, and also integrated uh, with the virtual showcase, which uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs has launched today. Uh, the challenge is uh, the SMA in Indonesia is uh, big and is uh, the, that that they are is a backbone of economy of Indonesia. Yeah. So uh, as the Pak Gubernur mentioned, the SMA of Indonesia influence. Uh, about uh, 61 percent of the GDP of Indonesia. Yeah. So the challenge is uh, how to collecting them, the quality products and the SM, uh, the credible SMA to go globally. So they can uh, promote their products and uh, to access the global market. Yeah. I mean, I know that you have been doing that as well for a couple of years now, but then now with this, the digitalization of the platform, the existing of this platform makes everything so much easier, more efficient, definitely faster for you to curate as well for um, the SMEs out there to join the platform. So we have the second question came in from Agustantra Adiguna. How can I place our product on indonesiastore.sg? Yes, we invite all the SMA in Indonesia to promote their product, also their company, to this platform. And you can uh, email to indonesiastore at indonesianembassy.sg. Okay. So we will create it, Adam. So because we want to promote the credible SMA right. and the qualified products, I think as well, yeah? Yes. <clears throat> can you repeat one more time the email so our audience here can take yes. note of that? You can uh, email your company profile, your products, your video introductory of video, adverti your advertising video to Indonesia store at Indonesian embassy dot sg. All right. So do send your products there, and we will have the team here to curate and do a credible background of your company before we actually market it to the global market. Yes, we work closely with uh, Bank Indonesia. Uh, I would like to thanks to Pak Ramdan Denny 
the representative of Bank Indonesia in Singapore. Thank you. Uh, they have a team in Indonesia to create it, to mentorship the SMA. Okay. So they have uh, four level, four level, yeah. The first level is for uh, the SMA who already who ready to promote their product to the global. Yeah, ready to promote. Yeah, ready to promote. Okay. So and uh, sorry, also uh, the Ministry of Trade. Yes. <laughs> also, we uh, mentorship by the training center of export. Okay. We call Balai Besar uh, Pendidikan dan Pelatihan Export Indonesia. Okay, so just to ensure every SMEs when they join, they know what they are going into to prepare themselves as well to be ready for the global demand. Yes, yeah. after you send the products, the company profile, we will learn and correct it uh, together with uh, Ministry of Trade and Bank Indonesia. Okay, so we have the third question, which uh, it's kind of answered earlier. If we want to do a business matching with SMEs, where we should contact to the embassy, Bank Indonesia, or others? Okay, this platform also provides the application if you want to inquire or want to further information about the product and the company, you can uh, click the send email and also click send brochure. Okay. So uh, privately, you can contact the credible SMA in Indonesia okay. in this platform. <laughs> so everything is all consolidated in this website. So whether you are a buyer or a potential SMEs to join this platform, just go into www.indonesiastore.sg and you will have all of the contact us button there as well. So we have the third question from RRI, Ahmad Ribai. Whether this is similar to e-commerce, please do inform them. So this platform is basically like a- Yeah, platform. basically uh, uh, it's a marketplace, a B2B marketplace. This is a platform to facilitate SMA to promote their products. And actually, uh, Minister for Trade, Bapak Agus said that also Minister Ministry of Trade uh, support to the SMA to <clears throat> promote their product in the marketplace like uh, Bukalapa and so on. Yeah. But this is uh, our effort in uh, Indonesian Embassy also to support, uh, to facilitate, to provide the platform like marketplace. Okay, so basically, um, yes, it's similar to e-commerce, but we're looking at also a wider and bigger Wider um, and bigger audience. and so link for to them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that is actually our last question for this Q&A. So ladies and gentlemen and all distinguished participants, let us show you two testimonials, videos by exporter from Indonesia, followed by one video testimonial by importer to Indonesia. Terkait dengan ekspor, sebenarnya dari tahun 2015 kami sudah melakukan penjajakan untuk masuk ke pasar Singapura. Kenapa Singapura yang kami pilih? Karena Singapura merupakan etalase produk dunia, di mana jika suatu produk itu diterima oleh pasar Singapura, otomatis masuk ke negara yang lebih mudah. Alhamdulillah kami berhasil mengirimkan produk kami dengan mitra kami yaitu My Outlet Global Hal Hub dan Alhamdulillah repeat order. Selanjutnya kerjasama dilakukan berlanjut dengan Howmart yang ada di Kinek. Alhamdulillah Pak Roni Faisal Tan juga memberikan kepercayaan pada kami untuk memasukkan produk UKM yang ada di Batam ke Howmart. Dan Alhamdulillah juga itu berhasil, berjalan dengan baik juga. Selain Singapura, kami juga masuk ke pasar Beijing, di mana tahun 2018 kami membantu salah satu anggota koperasi dengan Brenda Rata mengirimkan produk berupa kripi isam tanduk ke Beijing.
Kami mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Kedutaan Besar Republik Indonesia melalui atas perdagangan dan juga Bank Indonesia yang ada di Provinsi Kepulauan Rio dan juga Singapura atas kerjasama dalam memfasilitasi produk-produk UKM untuk dipasarkan dan dipromosikan tidak hanya di Asia Tenggara tapi juga di pasar Eropa. Kami Koperasi Rumah Bungkus Raja Isa Packaging Lab juga mitra agregator Bank Indonesia Kepulauan Riau mengucapkan selamat atas launching Indonesian Store yang dilaksanakan oleh Kedutaan Besar Republik Indonesia di Singapura. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Teku Darul Bawadi from Aceh. I would like to say thank you to the Ambassador of Republic of Indonesia in Singapore and KBRI Singapore through its trade attach and also Bank Indonesia for helping me to expand my business in Singapore. As we all know, Singapore is a very challenging market and for a local small or medium-sized company from Indonesia, it's an even harder market to get in. Luckily, with the guidance and mentorship from both trade attached in Embassy of Republic of Indonesia in Singapore and Bank Indonesia, we are now able to sell our products in Singapore. They have also provided us an online platform to showcase our products. You can visit the website at www.indonesiastore.sg. I hope by having our products on this website, the buyers will find it even easier to get information about our products, our company profile, and eventually be able to get in touch with us via email or phone. Again, thank you very much for your help. I would like to personally thank the ambassador of Indonesia to Singapore, together with its trade and national office in Singapore for helping us develop our business in Indonesia. They have been extremely proactive in identifying various sources of uh, food supply chain for us, which we are now able to channel through Singapore to the rest of the world. We are extremely grateful the hard work put in by the, by the Indonesian Embassy in Singapore for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. I want to personally thank His Excellency, the Indonesian Ambassador and his trade attaché for constantly guiding us in a number of subscribers in developing our products in Indonesia. They have been constantly giving us support in expanding our business in Indonesia, sourcing for new, sustainable spices and other agri-commodities. By doing so, we have been able to create an efficient, traceable system for our customers in the rest of the world. They have also constantly been giving us guidance and during this difficult COVID period, they have been guiding us on how to continuously maintain our business through these difficult times. We wish all the best for the new platform and we hope to continue to work together with the Trade Attaché and the Indonesian Embassy for many more years to come. Thank you. So once again, thank you for your kind attention and participation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a good afternoon everyone. Thank you, Karina. Thank, thank you, you all. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,